we're going to do a video for a stereo center problem and functional groups. I'm warning you, the semester we took this from, which was winter 21, was it? Yeah. Winter 21, T1, part four. And this is when students were taking remote uh, exams of their houses. And they had to print off the exam or look at it on another screen. And I made them do a lot more drawing than you have to do. So the first part was they did already on the earlier part of the exam. They drew the Lewis structure for this thing. You would not do this on this part four question. I would have the structure drawn for you. Yes, I converted it to a stick figure. So pretend it just started here and has part A and part B. So from this picture, ignore this. We're supposed to place an asterisk on each stereo center. And there's only one stereo center. Remember, you can't have an SP2 carbon be a stereo center ever. It's only got three things attached to it. You need four different groups to be a stereo center. Same story here. Same story here. Oxygen, come on. It's only got one thing attached to it. But this carbon here, I want to point out, before I started answering this question, sorry, before I started answering this question, I'm just doing another copy so you know I added this after the fact, and that makes that a stereo center. I mean, it was already there, it was already a stereo center, but if you're worried about what the fourth group is, it's an H. SP2 never, SP certainly never, it's only got two things attached. SP2, uh, only two groups attached, uh, three H's attached, uh, only three things attached. The only stereo center of the molecule, right there. And then functional groups. I'm going to highlight them. A carbon bonded to an oxygen bonded to a carbonyl. What are you writing for me? Can you give me the long form or the short form? Okay. I'll take the short form of just ester. Okay. But if you add carboxylic, it's just a little more descriptive. But the default ester is a carboxylic ester. There's nitric esters, there's phosphoric esters. You've seen those in DNA, some of you. Wait, why is that one not um, the last one? The last the one with the three. The three. This one? This? The lower bottom. This one? Next one? This one? Yeah, why is that one not on the card? That's an SP2 carbon. It's only got three groups: an OCH3, a CHO, and a C. It have four different groups attached to be a stereo center. Now talk to me about a uh, uh, new color here. Uh, trying to get a new color, green. NH2, where the N is bonded to only one carbon and the carbon is not a carbonyl. It's a one of them. All right, uh, how about the one with a degree? There's another way to say that, right? Primary amine, yeah. And then up here we have highlighter. Let's go light purple. That's an ether. Yeah, that's an ether there. COC, but one of them is not a carbonyl. We're just going to write ether. And we got our last highlighter in yellow. Right there, what do you got there? Aldehyde. Aldehyde. I didn't finish spelling ether. I went ether. Ether. And yellow. You guys don't like yellow. Maybe it's a thick yellow to work. Oh, that's really thick. And that's that. And I think that's all this question was asking, right? 